Could the East Siberian Sea trigger a global catastrophe? Beneath the East Siberian Sea, one of the most remote and extreme regions of the Arctic, lie massive deposits of methane hydrates. These are ice-like compounds where methane molecules are trapped within a crystalline lattice of water. Under low temperatures and high pressure, they remain stable. But if the water temperature rises by just 1 to 2 degrees C, these crystals begin to break down, releasing pure methane, one of the most powerful greenhouse gases known. Methane is not just natural gas. Over a 20-year horizon, its greenhouse effect is 80 times stronger than that of carbon dioxide. Even on a 100-year scale, methane is 28 to 34 times more effective at trapping heat in the atmosphere. Methane releases from the ocean floor are rare, but if a methane cascade begins, the consequences could be catastrophic. Studies by Russian scientists have recorded active methane bubbles rising from the Arctic seabed into the atmosphere. These are not mere traces. They are real methane fountains, some tens of meters wide. According to estimates, the East Siberian Shelf may contain up to 1-400 gigatons of carbon in the form of hydrates. For comparison, humanity emits around 40 gigatons of carbon per year. So a single large release from the Arctic could equal decades of global emissions. Some researchers, including members of the Arctic News Group, suggest that a major methane release could disrupt the planet's cloud cover. This is known as a positive climate feedback loop. Here's how it works. Methane intensifies the greenhouse effect, accelerating warming. Warmer air disrupts condensation processes. Clouds become less frequent. Without clouds, the Earth loses its reflective shield, albedo. More solar radiation is absorbed, more heat accumulates, more methane is released. In theory, this could lead to a thermal spike, where global temperatures rise by 8 to 10 degrees within a few decades. How realistic is this doomsday scenario? Most mainstream climate scientists consider it unlikely, but possible. What's holding back disaster, for now? The majority of methane hydrates remain stable thanks to low Arctic temperatures. However, every year, the temperature of Arctic waters and seafloors continues to rise, especially in summer. What can be done? Reduce emissions, especially from energy, transport, and agriculture. The East Siberian Sea holds one of the biggest climate threats of the 21st century, a methane bomb frozen beneath the ice. If it detonates, it could reshape Earth's climate faster than any human-made emissions. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel and remember, the best way to predict your future is to create it.